very much. But uh, thank you very much for coming in. And we also want to thank very much for um, Melissa Levet. She's the manager of human resources at Crayola Canada. And she's taken time out of her busy schedule to provide you labor market information about Crayola Canada and about um, a little bit of history as well. So we have a, a nice PowerPoint presentation. And thank you for all the technology people for getting <laughs> the other part going. So we have a little bit of an extra piece for you as well. So um, great. Thank you for coming in. And we'll see. Okay. Uh, we do have a partnership with uh, the United Way for the City of Quartha Lakes. Um, I'm sure most of you have heard about the annual Crayola sale, which is coming up on October 16th. I'll just put a little plug in there. <laughs> and uh, we also do a lot of employee fundraising, so we have some fun events at Crayola to um, help contribute some monies towards the United Way. Um, and as well, the employees have an opportunity to do payroll deduction uh, for money to go to the charitable organization of the United Way. When I receive resumes, I'm looking at this as your opportunity to market yourselves. Okay, and uh, I'm looking for demonstrated work experience, I'm looking for continuity, and if there is a break, I'm, I'm looking to understand what that break is and, and, and what occurred. Uh, we certainly don't ask for uh, right down to the specifics, but we like to have an understanding of, you know, why is there a three-year gap, okay? Um, spelling and grammar are important to me because that tells me that you have uh, good attention to detail and one thing that we have to be very wary of in the factory environment is that attention to detail because quality is of the utmost importance. Uh, we want our product to go out to our um, customer in very good condition. Um, we want to be able to have repeat sales constantly from those consumers. Uh, when it comes to interviewing, we are a factory environment and we do a lot of hiring for the manufacturing uh, aspect of the business. However, um, you know, we still have an expectation that well, people will come in for an interview prepared for an interview. And I say what not to wear. So I've had folks come in and see me in ripped jeans and t-shirts with maybe inappropriate, um, you know, beer commercials or something on the front. Um, certainly I'm not asking anybody to come in in a three-piece suit. Uh, but uh, how you present yourself to a prospective employer is very important. So you need to take that into consideration. So what this is, is this is a dry erase board. I have one of these here, so if you don't have one of these, you might want to go get one. They're great for the fridge. So you can use dry erase markers or dry erase crayons on this board. And essentially what we're doing is we're taking the crayons that are already packaged and putting on top of this piece of cardboard and then clipping it in with another piece of cardboard and then the board is being stuffed in to the side. So it goes in and out here. So these are on a belt. You can see that the belt was moving along as different people at the line were doing different parts of the, uh, the process. Okay, and then the end So this is the marker line I was talking to you about. You can see all the different colors. So there's blue and red and purple and yellow and orange, all in uh, cartons or crates. And what the employees are doing are taking uh, enough of each color to put into the package and then it rolls down the line. So there will be two or three of these um, sections doing exactly the same th thing but the belt is long, um, timed to the um, packages going down so they are filling the packages that are in front of them. Now these are packages, I haven't seen these uh, in our um, product room so I'm not sure they could have been from a customer special a couple of months back. Um, basically we'd be packaging into something like this. So the cardboard would have to be built at the front of the line. So this would come in all flat. So somebody would be putting together just, you know, popping this up and making it square so that the markers could be put in. No problem. As I said, I'm not expecting anybody to come in in a three-piece suit. Um, uh, and, and we are a casual, business casual environment. Um, so I prefer not to see jeans in an interview just because I think that you're, 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 you're trying to sell yourself. You're trying to tell us that you have an interest and you're excited about wanting to be here. You get up and put your jeans and your t-shirt on and tells me it's just another regular day for you. That's, that's my personal opinion. Um, I would say a button-down shirt for a man or a golf shirt. Golf shirt's fine, not t-shirts. Um, 
and um, for, for a lady, you know, a, a shirt and a pair of slacks if you have them, or chinos is fine. But just stay away from the jeans, especially the ripped, like, all the jeans right now, like, all the knees are out of them. When you go to the store, I don't think you can buy a pair of jeans anymore that have the knees in them. That's what I'm getting at, you know. Come, come telling me that you're excited about the opportunity and, and that you...